Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. And uh, I guess we can, you know, title it uh, uh, going into uh, some news and prophecy, all right? Because basically, you know, the victuals, all right, they're not going to be the same price, all right, that we see today, all right? As we see these different things happening within the earth, as we see the... Uh, the, the transition of this whole digital age, all right, everything is, is transitioning, all right, to another whole world right now, all right, as we're speaking, all right, you're not going to see the price of bread that it is right now, you're not going to see uh, uh, the price of uh, just certain foods, things that, that nourishes you, all right, in, in, as in a necessity, all right, even the price of water even is even going to go up. All right. So showing you that when all these things come to pass, when the hyperinflation comes, all right, it's going to be much worse than what we see right now. All right. Let me get it in um, Second Ezra 14 right quick. Let me start this off. This is the book of Second Ezra 14. I'm going to start at verse. Well, I'm starting at verse 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. All right, this is not a time to be in the weak nature to, uh, uh to falling, uh, uh, you know, in favor to your lust. All right, it's not a time for you to be uh, falling for uh, things. All right, of 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 this world, the cares of this life. You need to be ready to put these things off. All right, and this is a part of what. Uh, uh, letting go of these mortal thoughts, all right? This is a mortal thought to to want to still stay in Babylon the Great, all right? To prosper, all right? To pay your bills and to, to be a family man, to, you know, all these are just middle school, you know, thoughts, all right? All mortal thoughts, all right? But when you come and, and be with Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord is going to take those thoughts are right out of your mind, even though you're going to be living within it, but your mind is going to be what in the heavens. All right. You're going to be looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Okay. So it's time to put off that weak nature and, 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 and let these things go. All right. Because it's getting ready to get real bad. Verse 15, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So showing you the things that's getting ready to come, it's getting ready to be, it's going to be fucking horrific, man. We're getting ready to see the people at their state, all right, of desperation real soon. All right, when they find out that this, this whole dollar collapse, all right, that this, uh, uh, whole, you know, CBDC, all this thing is getting ready to transition because it's going to catch a lot of people like a thief in the night because they're not watching. All right. So this is the time, especially if you hearing this truth and you, you, you're you able to see it. All right. That the Lord has bestowed the spirit on you for you to be able to see and hear. All right. These things. All right. It's time for you to truly turn to the Lord. All right. Because a hey, is um, the video a brother had posted in the group chat. Uh, going into, uh, you know, oh man, I wish I could find it, but I don't want to go in the group chat, but I can put it in, uh, in the link in the description box, but it shows you that a lot of these other countries are, a they telling you to, a, to make some provisions, all right, because it's getting ready to get real crazy out here in the next coming weeks, all right, just roughly paraphrasing what the video was saying, all right, so it's getting ready to get real bad out here, all right. Due to a lot of these different things that are happening, all right, right now, um, I got a quick video I want to show from uh Glenn Beck, all right, from uh yeah Glenn Beck, all right, uh, it's titled "Explained 
how the Fed, how, so like, how the Fed's Fed now program will end up in a CBDC. So it's showing you that all these things are gearing, all right, towards, all right, the CBDC. Excuse me. All right, he's talking a little bit about uh hyperinflation. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it right quick. We're going to have a banking collapse. Your um, because there's a banking collapse that will cause the uh, dollar to skyrocket in inflation, possibly hyperinflation, because you won't be able to have a supply chain anymore. So many people will be unemployed. There's so much money uh, awash that if you want to buy something, well, you got a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'll buy that for a hundred dollars, and it might be something that was worth four dollars before the collapse, and. People will pay it. Hyperinflation will go crazy. The Fed will say, look, we got to stop this. Inflation is too much. We're going to give you a digital currency. It's already in a bank with your name. All you have to do is sign in, and it will give you the, the uh, money, and that's what's going to control inflation. How do we know this? All right, and you see the transition. We're going to go back and play that video one more time, all right? And uh, he mentioned a couple of key points. Um, we're going to go ahead and play the video again because it's only 50 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and um, play it one more time. We're going to have a banking collapse. Your, um, because there's a banking collapse, that will cause the uh, dollar to skyrocket in inflation, possibly hyperinflation, because right, you won't so be. Uh, first of all, let's get that word inflation right quick. Because right, we already know, well, hyperinflation, we already know that inflation, well, inflation is uh, basically like going into a, a, a blowing up, okay? <clears throat> so hyper, all right, hyperinflation is a noun, it says 1925 in the economic sense from hyper over exceedingly excess, and it says plus inflation, all right? So over exceedingly and to excessive, all right? So it's just going to blow up, okay? The prices are just going to skyrocket, all right, out of nowhere, all right? And it's, that's why it's going to be great confusion that's going to happen in this place, man, because people are going to wake up one day and seeing that gas is going to be what? Right now, I don't even know what the price of gas is. That, I'm I'm paying somewhere around between close to 4 I'm sure $4 and up, um, but I'm sure it's... um. A little cheaper for the regular, you know, unleaded, but that's even going to skyrocket, all right? Because everything is going to skyrocket, all right, when these banks collapse, man. Because these businesses, they're going to fail, all right? And when the businesses fail, many people are going to be without jobs, all right? So it's going to be job losses. And then people are not going to be able to pay their rent, all right? So now people are going to be getting kicked out, okay? Then it's going to be people, uh, they can't pay their uh, different car payments, Guess what? Then the car is going to repossession is going to be at an all time high. Crime is going to increase more and more and more because it's going to be people that's going to be hurting. All right. That's the point. OK. Many people are going to be hurting. Even it's probably going to be some uh, people that's in the, the all in that middle class, probably making uh, over 100 grand a year. All right. Many of them, they're going to be hurting. All right. Because the price is just going to skyrocket. All right. Price of bread. All right, it's just gonna pay a hundred dollars for a price of bread, man. Shit, who knows how much to meet in that day? So it's gonna cause a lot of people to riot. It's gonna cause many people to um to break into other different people's houses. It's just gonna be all chaos. All right, order out of chaos. All right, order out of chaos. All right, this is what these uh, elites. All right, this is what. They're uh, banking on, all right? That's going to really be a true collapse so they can be able to usher in, all right, the CBDC, all right, which is going to ultimately go into, you know, the Karagma in Revelation 13, all right, what we always talk about, all right? And the Lord's going to make it known, all right, who his true men were the whole time while everybody out here making jokes about the C-hip, all right, taking a damn, uh, 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 what, a damn potato chip, putting it on their hand and saying, hey, look, I got the uh, C-hip, you know? So we can ready to see all the laughs, all right, 
of the men of the Lord when we look at these people's faces, all right, when the confusion happens, when the big scrambling, all right, of people trying to find answers in that day. We're going to see all these things happen right before our eyes, all right, Lord willing, real soon. So, all right, so let me go back into uh, the video. Oh, so I'm playing it, that. It, um, because there's, we're going to have a banking collapse. Your, um, because there's a banking collapse, that will cause the uh, dollar to skyrocket in inflation, possibly hyperinflation, because you won't be able to have a supply chain anymore. So many people will be unemployed. There's so much money uh, awash that if you want to buy something, well, you got a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'll buy that for $100, and it might be something that was worth $4 before the collapse. And people will pay it. Hyperinflation will go crazy. The Fed will say, look, we got to stop this. Inflation is too much. We're going to give you a digital currency. It's already in a bank with your name. All you have to do is sign in, and it will give you the uh, money, and that's what's going to control inflation. How do we know this? Hey. Let's jump to the book of Second Ezra 16. <clears throat> and uh, where is it? 16 and verse 21. All right, so this is the book of Second Ezra 16, verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. All right, so right now these people think themselves to be in a good case. But at the same time, there's noticing everything is rising. I even talk to people on my job. There's people out there that's making, hey, they're making pretty good money, but they're still struggling. All right? They're still struggling. So how much that other everyday uh, a person out here in, in, in America who's not even making $20 an hour? We know that they're truly struggling. Okay? It says... Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, all right, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, all right? So the whole time while everybody out there partying, having fun, all right, waiting for the weekend, all right, going out for uh, spring break and all these different holidays, everything was happening in the background, okay? And prices were just increasing more and more. And soon it's just going to skyrocket. It's going to just hyperinflate. All right. Until where these people are going to be caught like a thief in the night. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine and great confusion. Great confusion is getting ready to come. All right. It's a lot of stuff is not going to make any sense. All right. To these average uh, average day people that's living on the earth. All right, because this is the way that Esau Edom is gearing the whole world to thinking that everything is okay until one day it's just going to catch them like a thief in the night. Um, damn, there was another precept I wanted to bring out. So lucky. Uh, I don't want to keep dragging it out. Um, let me jump to second Ezra 15. Um, yeah, since we... Mentioning what's going to happen when the, um, here it is, when it, um, the hyperinflation hits, all right, it's going to catch these people like a thief in the night. Second Ezra 15 and verse, I'm sorry, verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draws nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, it's going to be all chaos out here. All right. Even you read it in the book of um, Isaiah 19, I believe it's 19 and one or two or, or two, I think it's 19. And, let me get it right quick. Isaiah 19 and two right quick. All right. To link that precept up. Isaiah 19. Here it is in verse two. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. So showing you it's getting ready to be a, a, a time to where these 
same uh, uh, average uh, Joes, these average uh, uh, people here in America, Babylon the Great, they're going to be fighting against each other. All right. And at the same time, you're going to be seeing a lot of Jake. All right. They're going to be fucking terrorizing this place, too, man, because they're going to be like they're tired of their affliction. All right. They're going to man. Jake is going to turn the hell up, man. All right. Especially the, you know, these degenerates. All right. These uh, um, the ones uh, these this generation where the, the younger, uh, you know, we would call them jits, but the younger um, uh, kids who were probably born after the year 2000. You know, like Apostle uh, or a car, we say GMO babies. All right. Hey, man, them, they already terrorizing the place right now. So imagine. All right. You seen the couple videos. All right. That's happening down in spring break and, and things that happened in Miami uh, what, a couple weeks ago. Man, come on, man. Just imagine them when they can't get no food. All right. They can't. Uh, 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 they don't have no job. They're getting ready to get kicked out of their place. They finna go ravage some shit. And they're not going to be out here trying to look and, and protest. It's going to be a different whole scene at that point. Then you're going to have these other Edomites that's already riled up with, um, you know, with Trump and in in that Trump rally. All right. They already talking about make America great again. So if they feel like they got to start shooting and putting people down, they will. Then you got these other different mercenaries. Man, it's, it's going to be so crazy out here, man. Ain't nobody going to be safe. I seen another video last night. Um, I forgot the uh, the brother's name, man. I believe it was uh, Taza Panya uh, by Yum Yum. All right. Um, this brother, he had put a video out going into how um, many of the, uh, damn, many of the, um, the cops, all right, many of them are just quitting in droves, all right, because the workload is so crazy. So now you have a big, big shortage, all right, of security, okay, of uh, law enforcement, all right, because they, they don't want to handle the work and they see that the crime is just, it's, hey, it's around the clock. They don't have breaks, all right, so they're on the clock around the clock, 24-7. I, I believe it was in New York, all right. <clears throat> and it was the younger generation, all right, that was causing all these problems. The, you know, they were saying that the cops, they don't, um, they were barely getting any rest. All right, they were working long, 12 plus hour shifts each day. So it's a shortage on cops now and law enforcement. So when all this stuff happens, these cops just going to give it up. Just be like, man, fuck it. Just let everything go down. So we're getting ready to see some horrific things, all right? Based off the, the things and chain of events we're seeing happening right now. Going back in 2nd Ezra 15. It says verse 16. Oh, did I finish? Let me go back in verse 15. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right? It ain't going to be no cops, no law enforcement. All right? It ain't going to be none of that. All right? Until Esau, you know, brings in that what? That uh, that martial law. Going to be all chaos out here, man. All right? And everything is, is, is gearing towards that as we see right now. So the sedition. All right? The rioting. All right? Tearing down buildings, breaking windows, stealing. All right. They're going to be invading each other's houses. All right. With the swords. All right. The modern day sword is what? Well, right, especially when you look at uh, Esau Edom is going to these guns. All right. Different weaponry that they're going to be using to to take over houses. All right. People. All right. They're going to be uh, begatting uh, uh, children, too, as well. All right. Taking them. All right. Building up their own uh, militias. All right. Having their own little section, all right, and fighting against another, all right, militia or, 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 or mercenaries that's want to come in and, and try to uh, take over, all right. So it's going to be all chaos and fighting between, all right, the people here in America, all right, because it ain't going to be any type of law and order, all that constitution, all that's going to go out the window, all right, when all hell breaks loose, all right, and everything that is still being able to. Have everything function is really the the dollar here in the, in America. But when a dollar is as shit, 
all right, and these people worked hard for and they don't have it anymore, they're going to lose it, okay? That's why scripture says in Matthew 24, the love of many shall wax cold, all right? You're going to see the people's true intention when they don't have the security, when they don't have the money, okay? And this is what's going to force a lot of these people to go into the CBDCs. That's going to take uh, uh, that, that M-A-R-K, all right, when it's going to be presented, Verse 17, a man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able. It's going to be all chaos in each city. All right. It says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right. The scripture says in the book of uh, Jeremiah 30. All right. Why, uh, wherefore do I see uh, every man? All right. With his hands on his loins. All right. Nothing but fear. All right, it's going to be in these men's faces. All these big bodybuilders, all these uh, the ones that think that uh, they all tough. All right, we're going to see how tough you are on that day. All right, when your belly's empty. All right, when you got somebody that's coming up against you with the same uh, size as you. All right, trying to uh, uh, take what you got. All right, it ain't going to be no more on the social media talking. All right, having clout. All that's going to be out the window. All right. The true men are going to have to stand up in that day. And it's only going to be the elect men, all right, of Israel. Verse 19, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Okay, he ain't going to have no pity. He ain't going to matter if you got your own, if you got your children inside the house, your woman going to be in there, all right, your kids, you going to have food in there. It ain't going to matter, all right? A man's going to come in there, he going to take your food, he gonna probably take your uh uh, uh your children and he'll probably rape your damn wife right in front of you, all right, and laugh at you at all of that, all right, while everything's happening in the midst, all right. It says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. They're gonna be ravishing through houses, man. Shit, taking big shotguns, all right, sawed off shotguns and blowing a door hinge off and walking through. All right, blowing anybody who's coming up against their way, blowing a big ass fucking hole in their chest. It's it's gonna be so horrific out here, man. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and and for great tribulation. It's gonna be great tribulation everywhere. Okay, people ain't gonna be able to control it. All right, it's gonna get out of hand. All right, this is what's going to force Esau Edom to really clamp down. All right, and what? Bring in that martial law. Okay, to try to bring everything in, into uh, the right, uh, how can I say it? Or right, into the right setting. All right, but then in order for all this to get cleared up, everybody got to go apply for what? It's going to be that, you know, that RFID C hip. All right, when, it, when it's going to be presented. All right. The infrastructure is already set up now with the CBDCs. All right. So the only thing you're going to have to need is to have everything until what? One little mark. Uh, M-A-R-K. All right. And this is coming, man. All right. As we getting ready to see these things uh, unfolding, banks closing. All right. Famines coming. All right. Pri uh, hyperinflation's coming. All right. You got the, the, um, the law enforcement. Many of them are just quitting in droves. So the time of uncertainty is, 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 is even getting closer and closer to where it's going to be great confusion and these people are not going to understand what's going to happen. All right. And another scripture I can just quote in Proverbs 11, uh, going into how prophets, uh, no, how riches are not going to profit in the day of wrath. Your money is not going to matter. All right. When the wrath of the Lord comes upon this place. All right. And he's going to have a heavy spirit on a lot of these people. All right. To take a lot of people out. OK, so your money is not going to save you. All right. So all these people who's proud, they've accumulated all these riches. It's not going to help you in that day. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. 
I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.